Are you ready to see the final yarn reset at Hobby Lobby? Okay, now to tell the truth, I don't know if this is final, but everything is in place. There's nothing askew. There's nothing out of place, unstocked. So we're going to just assume that this is the restock because it looks all put together. Ooh, look at this book. Learn to tat. Sure, like I need another yarny kind of thing to do, but oh, doesn't that look pretty? That would really, really be fun. Although it would use little teeny tiny hooks. This is formerly the aisle that just had all of the crocheting and knitting tools and the embroidery thread and all that kind of stuff. Oh, look at this. All of these little, they look like little yarn balls, but they're little, are they embroidery thread balls or some kind of balls? I know they've been here before, but this is the first time I've really taken a look at them. I guess maybe because they are now on a yarn aisle. So I'm thinking, hmm, I like these. And this is a size five. Ooh, that would make a cute little clutch. That would be so, a cute little coin purse. And I suppose you would make it with that little teeny tiny thread. So here's all the cotton thread and um, the crochet thread, the Crafter Secret cotton yarn. I didn't get a good length view of that side of the row there because I would, just wasn't thinking about it at the time, but I did go back and get it later. But I had it kind of lengthwise. I'm going to put it at the end of this video so you guys can take a look at it. But there's all the scrubby yarn. They've got that all consolidated to an end cap. And here are the baby yarns. I really think that I am starting to like how they are arranging this. Because all the baby yarn is here. And that is like that stork yarn. And then there's Sweet Delight. And whether it's thick or whether it's thin, this is baby yarn. Soft and sleek baby. That's what that is. And they no longer have any other brands except the Hobby Lobby house brands, which are Crafter Secret and Yarn Bee, or Baby Bee in this case. But it's still a bee and I'm not getting the lower shelves or the upper shelves in this particular video that I'm filming right now. But like I said, I will put one at the end here that I filmed lengthwise. And it's uh, it looks really nice. Here's some like the Simply Flawless and um, the Yarn ID, the Soft Secret. And I believe there was some Yarn Bee DK back there. Or was it simply, is it called Simply Sleek DK? Something like that. It's in a donut. And some, like there are a bunch of varieties of acrylic blends on this aisle with the baby yarns. And this is the Soft and Sleek four weight yarn. They've got a lot of colors of this. And then the Rustic Roman, is it Rustic Romantic or Rustic Romantique? And then the Sugar Wheel acrylic down there. And I'm going to do a lengthwise view right here. That looks really nice. And then we go over to this side and it looks equally as nice. This is interesting. It's got the I Love This Yarn facing the other aisle which, you know, it's different. I'm a Taurus, the bull, which means I am resistant to change. 
So, <laughs> not that that necessarily means anything to everybody, but, you know, when change happens at our yarn stores, it's like, oh my gosh, what's happening? But I do approve. It looks great. And, oh, and the I Love This Yarn, yep, that brand's here. I guess it's a Hobby Lobby brand. And I do love the fact that it just looks so nice and neat and orderly. I mean, maybe that's because they just reset it and they pulled everything forward and everything isn't all shuffled around and looking weird. It's nice to see it after it's been in kind of a chaos for the last month. Here's some more of the cotton yarns. The I Love This Cotton and some of the other Yarn B cotton blends. Down at the end of this aisle... They have, oh gosh, I don't remember the name of it, but we're going to see it in just a second. True Colors. They've got True Colors down at this end. And over here, the last bit of yarn is on this aisle. And it's just half an aisle, one side. And here we have the Ethereal Eyelash and the Hand Dye. There's not very many up there, so I'm hoping they'll get some more in. This style seems to be more of the novelty yarns and the thicker yarns. So there's like the velvety yarns, and then we go to six weights. And then it keeps getting thicker as we go down. There's some seven weights. And there are some of the loop yarns and the kind that looks like it needs to be spun into thread. And then, oh, I was right. All of this eternal bliss is now on the aisle. But I think there was also some out in the regular aisle, too. Oh, I came back over here to this side. I wanted to show you a few of the kits that they have. They have little amigurumi kits, which I think are very cute. And I think it's a great way to be able to try something out there, like anywhere from $5.99 to $8.99, to try crochet out, to see if you like it, without having to commit to buying a couple of skeins of big yarn they make a good little gift to somebody who's wanting to crochet so what do you think what do you think of the new setup let me know down in the comments and also let me know if your hobby lobby has done this and in just a couple of seconds here i'm going to show you that longer vertical version of the walkthrough that i did so it's super exciting. You get to see the whole length of the aisle. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so right after I walked through the first time, I went through a second time because I wanted you to be able to see the whole length of the shelves from top to bottom. And so I just started where I ended and I kind of went backwards. So there's all the Eternal Bliss. Ooh, this week, the yarn is 30% off. It's usually every other week. And there's some of the bigger seven weight yarns. And then it goes down to some six, or it looks like there's still some sevens. But after the sevens, there's some of the six weights. And these are all the Yarn B and Crafter Secret. And I love these yarns brands. And some of the novelty yarns are down here at the end. On this, on this end cap, there are the True Colors yarns. And, oh, there's a little bit of clearance yarn left over. Had to make sure to show you that. See, they could have filled up that one opposite, you know, with a lot of yarn. But, alas, this is what we have. These are the yarns that are cotton, cotton yarns right here. And then we slide on down to the I Love This Yarn Acrylic. So this entire side of the aisle is the I Love This Yarn and the cotton yarns. 
So I do like the organization of this. I do like the fact that even though they have all Hobby Lobby brands, you know, at least it still looks really nice. And there's a good, there's a good variety of yarn. And oh, look, there's still yet another stack of Eternal Bliss. And we go around here. That was some of the Crafter Secret acrylic right there on the end cap. And these are all different varieties of acrylic yarn and acrylic blends. This is the soft and sleek to the right. There's a lot of colors of that. And yeah, like almost half the aisle. And then there's some of the natural fibers. Or no, 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 those aren't natural fibers. Those are like recycled plastic bags. And here's some, or here is all of the baby yarn. And these are like the baby soft and sleek, is it DK or regular? And then the Sweet Divinity and other yarn B baby yarns. And down here is all the scrubby yarn. And here we go. Here we get a long look at the other cotton threads. I like how the um, Crafter Secret, which is kind of like a dish towel type cotton yarn, is right in between the crochet thread and the scrubby yarns. It kind of makes sense. And the accessories and the crochet and knitting tools are kind of shrunk. That, that section's kind of shrunken. Over here, we've got the embroidery stuff, the embroidery thread, the embroidery tools and whatnot. Down here at the end, there are the crafter's secret that was on that end cap. Those big things. And over here, this is the one that's facing the tool side of the aisle and the cotton yarns. And these are more embroidery hoops and some crochet amigurumi kits. These are, actually there's quite a few. Oh no, these are the crochet kits. Back there a little ways was the uh, like embroidery kits. And some latch hook and curtains because that's not random. <laughs> but anyway, that is the entire reset. And uh, I would love, like I said before, I would love to hear what you guys think. This was the only one of the little hanging things I saw that was new. It is a little booklet that shows what the little um, kits are. So I thought that was interesting. And here's just a quick look-see to see what kind of kits they are. And, oh, was that an avocado? Cute. That is it for now. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. If you loved seeing this reset, please click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a second of Yarny Fun. Oh yeah, and also, please share this video with someone that you think needs to see the new Hobby Lobby reset. Alrighty, I love you guys. Bye.